Okay, today we're going to talk to you a little bit about how long cannabis stays in your system. It's a common question we get asked, how long will a drug test detect cannabis if I have a workplace drug test or a pre-employment workplace drug test? Um, the question is asked very frequently and most urine tests will detect single use, occasional cannabis, just a single use for between three and a maximum of five days after it's been used. Now the cannabis drug tests that are used internationally for urine screening detect 50, that's five zero nanograms of cannabinoids in the urine. Now that's a tiny amount. The problem with cannabis is that it's a fat soluble chemical and it is deposited in the fat reserves around the body and that's why it leaches out of the system quite slowly. Now it's very different if cannabis has been consumed for a long period of time or um, has been consumed in very high quantities. Now the concentration of cannabis varies between the different uh, forms that it's uh, presented in. The most concentrated form is uh, uh, concentrated resin or skunk. Now the concentrations in that can be very high and if it's consumed by a regular user over a long period of time the fat deposits of those cannabinoids can be quite extensive and in that situation it can take anything up to 28 days for the urine THC levels to drop below 50 nanograms after use is cessated. Saliva cannabis testing is a little different. There is no international agreed cutoff for saliva tests and they will vary between uh, 4 nanograms and 10 and 12 nanograms. The most usual screen is a 12 nanogram saliva screen but that will only detect cannabis use for between 8 and a maximum of 12 hours after it's been consumed. Cannabis testing will become positive much quicker than urine testing in terms of how quickly after use will it start showing. With a saliva test you're looking at 30 minutes to 60 minutes on average, whereas with a urine test it can be anything from 4 hours up to 8 hours before it becomes detectable in urine. So we're going to demonstrate a cannabis test for you here. This is a core test cannabis membrane cassette. Out of the foil comes the uh, cassette with a THC logo in there. On these cassettes you get a bag of desiccant just to keep the cassette nice and dry, there's no need to do anything with that. And then to run the test, just a small amount of sample, three drops usually is added to the sample well marked with an S. So I'm going to put three drops into that. And then what you'll see, and this is a standard sort of procedure that they'll follow for a cannabis test, is the uh, sample tracking up in the well here where the results are going to appear. We've got a T for the T line end and a C for the control line end. And what you'll have developing in there is two lines. Now all these results are interpreted by the presence or absence of those two lines. The C or control line has to uh, show on all tests and that demonstrates that uh, sufficient urine samples been added for the membrane to have run fully into the control area. The result is interpreted by the presence or absence of the T line or test line. Now, if there is drug at or above the cutoff determined by the manufacturer, 50 nanograms in most cases, then it will bind the uh, dye in the uh, area of the test line and no dye will form in that area, so no test line forms. And that would be a positive result. It's important to read it at the given time uh, set by the manufacturer. If there is no drug at or above the uh, cutoff level, then the dye will bind at the test area and you will get a clear test line forming. Now that often confuses people because this is the opposite way around to what they're expecting. Uh, with pregnancy tests, obviously you're looking for a test line to form for a positive test. These are completely different. It's negative binding technology. So a test line and a control line is a clear negative result. And if we show you this one, you can see that there's two nice clear lines forming indicating a negative test sample on this uh, test cassette. So that's a little information for you about cannabis testing. The most common format for employment and pre-employment medicals is urine screening because of that window period for detection being three to five days for even casual single use. For roadside testing the format is saliva testing, it's a much shorter window after use but much quicker to become positive. So they're looking more for people that have actually got cannabis in their system at the time they're testing them and under the influence as far as their ability to drive at that time is concerned. So it's a much more appropriate test to use rather than the urine based test.